Marines from Air Station Iwakuni helped rescue two men lost at sea for more than two days. The men left Namwon Atoll on June 3rd in a 23-foot skiff headed to Wino Chuk of the Federated States of Micronesia. After repeated search attempts by the U.S. Coast Guard proved unsuccessful, the Coast Guard asked for assistance from Marines who were in nearby Guam for exercise Geiger Fury. The Marines were given a 65-mile search radius, and after only three hours of searching, they spotted the missing boat. The air crew dropped a life raft with water, food, and a radio. The Marines then located a Japanese tanker 10 miles from the skiff, who were able to render assistance and pick up the lost men. One of the pilots of the C-130 involved in the search effort, Captain Michael Smith, says the mission was a complete success. To be able to not only find a little 23-foot boat out in the middle of the Pacific and then also luckily have a, have a tanker ship within 10 miles of that uh, small skiff, two, two rare situations, and then uh, have our aircraft be able to coordinate the pickup of that little boat. So that was, that was a, an amazing situation. The other pilot of the C-130, Captain Joseph Lennox, says the rescue is more than just a memorable flight operation. It is a testament to the Marine Corps' ability to execute operations on a moment's notice. I got about 1,700 hours in this airplane, and I'd say that's probably about the most satisfying mission I've ever flown. You know, I do think it kind of speaks to something special about the Marine Corps that, you know, on short notice we're able to launch, conduct this mission, have it be a success. I think that's the kind of thing that the American people expect out of us is, is that flexibility to, to just be able to execute a mission at the drop of a hat. And, uh, you know, I think we proved that today. The men were taken home safely after boarding the Japanese tanker and didn't even have to go to the hospital. Lance Corporal Joshua DeFord, Anderson Air Force Base, Guam.